Welcome to Python tutorial. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Python program which rep repeatedly reads the numbers until the user enters done. Once done is entered, print out the total count and average of the numbers entered by the users. If the user enters anything other than number, detect their mistakes using try and accept block and print an error message and skip to the next number. So what we need to do here is uh, we need to read the input from the user that is continuously we need to read the numbers. Uh, once the user has entered done then we need to print the total number of uh, uh, the numbers entered and what is their uh, total sum as well as the average. If users enters anything other than numbers or done we need to give a proper message to the user and then we need to skip to the next number. Two variables, let us say that sum is equal to 0 uh, which will store that uh, what is the total sum and uh, we need to take one more variable, let us say that uh, cnt which will track how many number of uh, numbers were entered which is necessary while calculating the average also and then we need to display the, uh, the total numbers entered. So we will take another variable here. Next what I do is uh, I will add a file statement and then I will take true continuously it will, will go on reading the input from the user so I will ask uh, user to give the input I will store that thing into INP input and then enter the number okay uh, or done because uh, if he has completed he has to enter the done so that is the two possibilities now what I need to do is I need to check whether if uh, whether input is equivalent to done. What is the meaning of that one? If input is done, uh, the everything is uh, finished here. So I don't I don't need to do anything here. I need to come out and then I need to uh, print uh, uh, the sum uh, count and the average. So I'll put a break statement here. If it is not done, what is the next thing I need to do is I need to check. Uh, I need to convert that number into uh, actually whatever I read using uh, input which will be in the form of string so I need to convert it to int so that I can calculate the total sum. So for that reason uh, I will do one thing INP is equal to int of uh, INP but sometimes what happens is uh, he may entered uh, something like message like his num name or something like that or any string in such case this particular statement will generate an error. So that is what uh, they have asked us to uh, do is if user has entered anything other than number or done we need to detect their mistakes and then we need to handle those uh, thing with the help of try and accept block. So I will put try here okay and within this particular try I will try to convert that input into integer. If it is successfully done what I do here is cnt is equal to cnt plus 1. So I will uh, increment the count by 1. If that number is uh, successfully converted into integer I need to calculate sum also so sum is equal to previous sum plus uh, we can say that INP and then uh, if it is not successfully converted into integer else part not else part it is should, it should be except block ok in except block I need to print uh, can say that uh, enter the numeric value ok and then what they have said is uh, whenever you display this particular message you should not uh, come out of this particular block I need to continue so I need to mention continue with the next iteration so that is what the meaning here it, will sh it should continue with the next iteration it will read one more time whether it is done or number if it is number it comes over here if it is done it will come out of this particular loop fi finally uh, if uh, it is not a number and done it will go to this particular block and then it will say that you have to enter the numeric uh, value here now uh, if everything is done successfully uh, we need to calculate the average so average is equivalent to that is sum uh, that is the total sum divided by uh, cnt that is the number of uh, total numbers entered here ok now I need to display the messages like uh, sum is uh, you can say that sum sum or you can say total is that is um, because they have used total I will write total only and then print uh, count is I will use cnt here and then print average is abg is the number 
so what we have done initially uh, we have said sum is equal to 0 count is equal to 0 and then uh, repeatedly we have done this uh, we have executed this loop unless and until uh, either done is entered uh, once done is entered it will come out of this particular loop okay so first we will read the input either a number or a done if it is done uh, it will come out of this particular loop if it is a number it will be converted into integer and then count will be incremented by 1 and sum is incremented by the input value if it is not a number it will go to this except block uh, it will ask you to enter the numeric value and then it will continue with the next loop here so this is how actually it works so we will try to execute it here so first uh, I will enter 10 so there will not be any issues 20 I will enter 30 and then I will enter done here so once I enter done it will come out of this particular loop the total is 60 count is 3 and average is 20 here so I just make some proper corrections here so that uh, I will give you the proper messages okay so this is how actually it works okay now let us say that uh, I will enter 10 20 uh, I will enter some other string rather than entering number so HIT HIT is not equivalent to done so it will go here HIT is try to convert it into integer it is not possible so it will go here except block and then it will give you a message enter a numeric value okay once it gives enter numeric value immediately it go back to this particular while loop and then it will continue with the next loop uh, for example i will enter 30 here so there will, there will not be any issues 30 will be converted into integer number and then it will go back to while loop again now i will enter done here so done means what uh, input is equal to done it will break this particular loop it comes over here the average is calculated uh, total is displayed here uh, count is displayed here and average is printed here so this is how actually the output will look like so this is how actually what we can do is we can repeatedly read the input from the user uh, unless uh, some uh, string is entered in this case done once uh, the user has entered all the numbers we need to calculate the total sum and average uh, something like this uh, similarly whenever the user has entered anything apart from number or done we need to handle those uh, mistakes with the help of try and except block that is also shown in this particular example whenever there is a uh, the mistake by the user it has to continue with the next loop that has been done with the help of a continuous statement in this case so this is the very simple python program to understand uh, the multiple concepts here how can we repeatedly read the inputs how can we use the break statement and continuous statements and so on i hope this particular program is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching